Hello and welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to do just a quick little video about upcycling my shop vac. Now, the shop vac was attached to my dust deputy dust collection system, and I ran it in the shop every time I was in the shop. I used it for turning on my lathe so that I could pull the chips up, cleaning the shop. I would drag it outside to clean the cars. It got a lot of use, and I just basically burned the motor up. What I decided to do is I didn't want to throw the whole thing away, so I kind of took a look at it and said, what can I do so that I don't have to put this in the landfill? And a couple of things came up. First off, I cut the cord off of it. Now, the reason why, this is a nice long cord. It's a heavy gauge cord. And there are times in the shop where you'll have a tool that um, you will damage the cord and need a replacement cord. Uh, this is the second time I've done this. This is the second shop back I've been through. I cut the first cord off and we ended up using that. So I'll keep this over in one of my cabinets because it will come in handy. The hoses off of the shop vac are very usable as well. I mentioned that this ran my dust deputy uh, dust collection cyclone. I'm, I kept the hose and what that does is give me about another six foot of extension. So I'm hoping to permanently mount the dust deputy uh, behind the camera in my shop. And with that extra hose, the new shop vac that I bought came with a hose and I have a hose from my previous shop back so I now have enough hose length to come all the way across the garage and right out under this door and I can vacuum cars just outside the shop in the driveway. The top part of the shop back or the motor, the part that burned up, I really couldn't find a use for any of that. So what I did is we had an electronics recycling day and I took that along with some other electronics that I had and I properly recycled them as opposed to putting them in the landfill. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself because so far I haven't put anything in the landfill from this broken piece of equipment. One of the things I like about this is it is on wheels and boy, they roll nicely. It also has a couple of handles. I've been using this as a makeshift garbage can in my shop because I've got a nice little spot it fits over here in the corner and I can just kind of with my foot give it a kick and roll it anywhere in the shop I want. It's working out really well. The only issue is you'll kind of see this red area. There's a hole here and what I did is I took a piece of rubber and I attempted to patch that hole but I do not like the patch job that I did and the reason why is let me get you a little closer and show you. Just taking a look at the outside, I used some screws and nuts to hold this piece of rubber in place. And with the screw sticking outside of the shop back, as you're kicking this around with your leg, you could literally snag your leg on that and put a little scratch on your leg. I'd like to avoid the possibility of injury. Also, if you take a look inside, notice how this is away from the can. When I tightened the screws, it pulled the rubber and caused it to sort of uh, lose its shape. Well, I've come up with what I think is a solution for this, and let me show you what I plan to do. I've had this roll of aluminum flashing in my shop for quite some time, and I pull it out every now and again and use a little piece of it. I think it's going to be perfect for patching the hole in this canister. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a patch from the flashing. I've got some eighth inch pop rivets down here. I got an eighth inch drill bit chucked up in my drill. We'll put some holes in our patch. We'll take the patch over to the shop back canister transpose those holes into the canister and then using our pop rivet tool we'll go ahead and attach this patch permanently to our trash can. I think that will correct the problem and make that trash can usable for many years to come. We'll start by removing the old patch from the canister. I'm going to grab a quick measurement of the hole so I know how large to cut the patch. Looks like it's about uh, three and an eighth inches. I cut out a five by five piece of aluminum. And then I found the center by using a ruler and going corner to corner. I took a compass and set it up for two and a half inches. And I have a very light line, but you can see the circle 
that goes around the inside of this patch. Now I'm going to take my tin snips and go ahead and get this cut out. Using a ruler, I divided this five inch circle into eight pieces, kind of like a piece of pizza. And then I came around and a half inch from the end of the blank, I made a little mark. Let me get that up a little closer where you can see that. I know it's difficult to see because I just used a pencil, but I'm going to use a punch. And at each one of these marks, I'm just gonna put a dimple. And now we'll follow up with our drill and ream these holes out so they're perfectly one eighth inch in diameter. With our patch drilled out, you can see that it also has a really nice contour to it that fits the can. Now, I'm going to end up putting this on the floor to do this next step because it'll be a little easier to work with. But I'm going to essentially eyeball the X and make sure that it looks roughly in the center of this circle. From the inside of the can, we'll drill one hole through the can and apply a pop rivet. And then we'll adjust the patch to make sure we have a nice area around the patch and around the inside of the hole to be able to put the rivets and not worry about one of the rivets being right on the edge of the patch. We wanna make sure we get good connection. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the floor. We'll turn the camera around and we'll begin drilling our holes and attaching our rivets. With the first two pop rivets in place, this patch isn't going to move. So I'm just going to go ahead with the drill and work my way around the patch and get all of the holes drilled out. And then we'll come back and put all of the rivets in at once. The patch turned out really nice. That piece of aluminum was perfect. It's very solid. And if we look on the inside of the barrel, you can see it fits nicely against the contour of the canister. So I think it's going to do a great job for me. It's going to give me many more years of use out of this canister. This is the first shop back that I ever owned and when it finally died I cut the cord off. It has already been used in another project. Uh, the hoses, you can see some of the hoses over here. Uh, I kept all of the hoses and I used them to give me extensions anywhere around the shop or outside of the shop. The wheels make this nice because I can pull it right over to my chop saw or to my table saw and any scraps that I cut off can go right in the bin and it has been wonderful to have around the shop. So the next time you have a piece of shop equipment that gives up the ghost, take a look at it before you pitch it out and see are there any pieces that can be upcycled and used in another capacity. The pieces that you cannot upcycle, please be sure to dispose of responsibly. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.